weather's not awesome, but there's good beer, so that makes up for it. In Amsterdam, it's not just about coffee houses and beer. In the last decade, the creative industries have boomed, and many believe that with Brexit on the horizon, London-based companies will start to eye up the city as a possible alternative European base. But what's it really like to work here? We flew to Amsterdam to ask the big players on the Dutch marketing scene. I think operating a business out of this city is really easy. I think broadband coming in connectivity, for example, is huge. There's talent on every corner. Um, people cherish startups in this, in this city. Um, I have run a business in the city, and uh, my experience is, is extremely positive. It's a city that supports entrepreneurialism. It's one of the highest held values here. Um, and again, with all the international talent that is around, no matter what part of the world you're going to operate in, you're going to find people that you'll want to recruit. I would say that the creative scene in Amsterdam is incredibly interconnected, multicultural, and supportive in that united we're stronger kind of mentality. Um, what you'll find, which I think is really uh, very different compared to most agencies in fact, for example, London, is that you'll find um, 25 nationalities under one roof in one agency of 100 people. My own company, Finch Factor, there's 14 of us, and we have eight nationalities, and that's normal. That global thinking is very, not easy to find, but it's very common, and that really informs the work that you do and how you work with global clients. I don't think the Dutch culture is um, reflected in the work other than that we're open. We don't have a single mindset. We can't afford to have, uh, to, to be too self-centered or to have a, a focus on ourselves. We're always looking across the pond. We're always looking internationally. We don't, because we're such a small country, we, know, we call it a frog country. It doesn't translate well, but we're so small. We need to think globally anyway from the get-go with everything we do, because it's never, everything we do will never serve just the Dutch crowd. We'll always go somewhere else. Overall, in Holland, you see great creativity. For example, I remember when I was looking at Holland from Turkey, it looks like one of the most innovative and creative parts of the world. And also, I think you don't have the language barrier of English, uh, about English. So when you look at the work coming out of uh, the world, you see US, you see UK, you also see Amsterdam. You don't see great work is coming from Germany or France as well, but somehow Amsterdam is like a satellite to the English-speaking world. But just like every city, the creative scene in Amsterdam has its own unique problems. Many of these seem to spiral from the issues surrounding talent. I think the scene will very, uh, very soon sort of blow up, especially because of Brexit, so we're going to have a lot of new talent coming in. And I think as a result, I think that Amsterdam could be more diverse. So um, diversity with gender, diversity racially, ethnically as well. Um, so I think that's, although Amsterdam is a very progressive city, I see a lot of, for example, in the tech sector, it's just not diverse enough. And I just, I think that Amsterdam can be the platform and is a perfect city for it to become, I guess, the jumping off point. I feel like there is more women in advertising in New York than I found here. Um, so as far as like gender diversity, I actually think that uh, it's a, maybe a little bit less diverse here. Um, but I, you know, don't, I don't have too much experience with a lot of other agencies. But I have no. I think the gender thing is there's there's less women here, and so I think we need more women creatives in Amsterdam. The biggest problem is actually local talent, um, because there's like the digital ecosystem is booming, so the local talent is actually drying up more and more, and the workforce that's coming alive and kicking right now. So the new students they don't have the right assets yet learned from their, um, from their background, from the universities or colleges where they've been. So we need to really, we need to educate our local younger workforce more to be ready for the digital transition that we're making here in the Netherlands. And also we need to 
attract more talent from outside to make sure that we have enough workforce. People often will come to Amsterdam and try it for two years or for three years or for four years. They might be coming from London or Spain or Brazil or Japan, uh, but they might see it as an adventure um, and come to Amsterdam as a city to do the best work of their career perhaps, but perhaps then intend to move back to where they come from. And that can be a real challenge for uh, agencies in the Netherlands who work globally because it might be more difficult to retain staff who may simply want to move away after two, three, four years and not stick around. Despite the challenges that Amsterdam faces, there is a real air of optimism in the city, with many predicting a forthcoming boom for the creative industries. We were sort of and I don't, I'm not trying to say this in a mean way, but after Brexit, we were like, this could be really awesome for Amsterdam because it is such an easy city to get to. It's incredibly easy to live in without speaking the language to the point where if you try to learn Dutch and speak to people in Dutch, they'll pick up your accent and just switch to English for you. And so that I think even like for a business perspective too is like super, super helpful. Um, you know, just how easy it is not only to get here, but then to be here. Uh, it seems like it's r really just like begging for like a big boom in all sorts of industries. So with more businesses coming here to the Netherlands, I don't know how it's going to play out, but what you already see what happens when new types of businesses from new uh, countries or nationalities coming in is that it diversifies the way we look at the world every time we see something like that. So we get a different feel, we get a touch of something different and we as people here in the Netherlands, when we get touched by a different culture, we adapt to that. It always brings us more than we actually give, but we don't really acknowledge that and we should actually celebrate it more and that's why it's so important to get international companies to the Netherlands because we learn so much by it because that's what we do, we learn and, and steal as well a little bit from other cultures. The younger people don't have borders, don't feel borders, brands don't have borders, advertising and digital don't have borders. So I think it will grow and grow more international and more diverse uh, in the next couple of years than it has before. And I think that's only a good, a good thing. Singapore has become the hub of Asia, uh, where a lot of businesses are setting up. Uh, there are obvious reasons for that. Lots of businesses, lots of our clients are hooked here, lots of other agencies are hooked here. We saw the, the scale of growth that this region was, was having in digital media um, and wanted to be there as quickly as possible.